I need to kind of scooch you my booty, huh? Scoochie and Yeah, scoochie and boochie. Is that in one of them new oil terms? <laughs> Something Technical like that. Technical oil terms. Ooh. Pardon me. Why is it taking so long to get connected? Did you put it in the right spot? It says successfully connected. Oh, I just said that now. I'm not no, it was on there. Farmer meme. Look at them all pouring in. Pouring in, you gotta follow me, Mall Suburban Hill. Y'all gonna have to apologize us for the way we look. <laughs> Today Tracy was kind Downs. of an interesting day. <laughs> I need one of those. That's for gas. Gas pan. Mm. Christine, seventy-one. Hello. 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 Okay, like fourth. <laughs> Pam hmm. Walker. Hello from Minnesota. Melody B. Why? Oh, Laura, I hadn't seen you in a while. In a long, long time. Ooh, how are, how are things over there on the other coast? Hey, Niana, nice of you to show up, too. She's been, you know, she's been sending her her husband in to watch the shows and take notes for her, especially he had to do Clary Calm last week because she couldn't make it. <laughs> so I'm so glad you're here, Niana. <laughs> we want free samples. Well, you only you only love me for my samples. If there's one that you want, I'll tell you what. This is it. This is the Mama Jamma. It definitely is. Ooh, we got ink. the Mama of all Jammas. Dave Jeffries is here. Prissy Green. You always say Jeffries. Uh, that's because I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Laura. Hey, boss and Mrs. Boss. <laughs> She's funny. Is he funny? Dun, dun. So they only love us for our samples. That's how we bring them in, honey. They come in for the samples. That and, and your reaction when you put something in your mouth. Need patience and grief oil. <clears throat> Serenity is a good one, Laura. Um... Of course not. <laughs> you don't respect me in the morning. You only love me for my samples. <laughs> That's you funny. Say, you say whatever you want to get to my samples. I was glad to see Karen's here because she missed yesterday. She's been real busy with getting everything. That's what she says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't like she's been through a hurricane or something. I know, right? Come on. Just got their power back. Hey, look uh, who else is here. Yep. Oh, Bessie Williams. That's a new name. Hi, Bessie. How are you this I evening? I like your channel. I Thank just started you. looking at your channel. Good. Thank you. Jason, I sent you a message. Did you get it? No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, but I do like the free stuff. Well, who doesn't like the free stuff? I mean, come on, guys. Guys, but, I'm only making bad but, jokes. But here's the thing. <laughs> I could tell you all day long that something does something. But until you try it. But until it, you try it, you're not going to know. And yeah. a lot of these, and I'll be the first one to tell you, even a cheaper one like lemon, you could tell me all day long that lemon was going to do something, but until I physically tried it mm -hmm. and did it, <clears throat> there's... You know, when we give out free samples, like when somebody's um, sick and we're there face to face and we're like, here, try this, mm -hmm. I always feel like the monkeys. Remember the old rock band, the monkeys? Yes. Because as soon as like they they take it, mm -hmm. I hear that song. Then I saw their face. Da, 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 da. Now I'm, I'm a believer. believer. <laughs> yep, that's it, right? That's the one. That, that's why we do it. That in. I am the witch doctor. <laughs> that's the, that's my theme song that you used to. Lonely Prepper made it, so he must have got either got his notification or. I have a huge announcement to make. Hey, Andy. And it's huge. <laughs> okay. Huge. <laughs> I'm something is happening. Ah, to me fresh butchered beef. Okay. That has never, ever happened. Wait for it. <laughs> Be <Before>. for it. <laughs> and it is legend. Oh, God. 
Wait for it. Watching Wait the for show. it. Dairy. <laughs> As if one person in the house quoting that show was enough. <laughs> Suburban said, if I use my tablet, YouTube says waiting forever until I refresh on my own. I don't know when anybody is live. That's crazy. Watch the clock. <laughs> So, mm. we got 17 people in. I want to wait. So what? What happened? I want to. I want to wait. wait. I want to wait for a little bit more. More folks to get in. Okay. You going the wrong way now? Hey, Trudy. Trudy. What do you mean you going the wrong way? It said 17, and now it says 16. Uh, but I don't think that's accurate because no, no. for the longest time it was saying five, and we had more than five people in the I chat mean, box. It, it, in the very beginning, it said like two, and there was yeah, like and there was like six or seven people so, talking. So I don't know how many people we got in the room tonight. Wait for it. Walla walla bing bang. <laughs> but, I mean, it is. It just goes along with my awesomeness. Uh, Miss Teresa, my son has decided to go to EMT school. That's awesome. awesome Good job, Amanda. Sauce. You know somebody I hadn't seen in a while is Mama Cat. <laughs> Yes, Andy's backyard and shop. Let's play some laser tag. <laughs> uh, uh, Andy, don't encourage him. Cause it'll be legend. Dairy. Next thing you know, he's gonna want to start wearing suits. I do. Okay. So 20. everybody's saying twenty. See, ours is only showing eighteen. 20. So. Twenty. Okay. So. For the very first time, I am officially getting something named after me. Oh, so that's what the phone call is about. Ah, oh, look at this. New to your channel. Found out about you via Ricky Wallace's channel. Well, welcome, Chris. Welcome, Chris. Speaking of Ricky Wallace. She's probably at church. Okay. Mama Cat. They're an hour behind us, so it's oh. right at six. So Speaking of Ricky Wallace. Yes. You got a phone call from Ricky today. I got a phone call from Ricky today. And he's putting a video out next week. So right there, Wallace Knife Works and Homestead. If you are not subbed to that channel. Whoa, where are all these people coming from? We're seeing so many new names. Bessie Williams, I really like your makeup. You look really nice. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> Skipper523. There's all kinds of new names. I'm sorry. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway. Wallace, Knife Works, and Homestead. Yes. Kitty, if you could put his link Thanks. to his channel up for me, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. He called me today. He called you today. Well, if y'all remember some time ago, I guess it was about last year, about this time. Hmm? Maybe, maybe no. December, January. I started talking to... Oh, yeah. This is my story, and you're totally <laughs> ripping out the legend. I know. From it being legendary. Now... I got to talk to Ricky about a beaver knife. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And Ricky Wallace made one. Fabricated me a beaver knife. Look at this beauty. This thing does Please the be careful. job. <laughs> because it will cut your finger. <laughs> this thing, I can skin a beaver just by using my booger finger and my thumb mm -hmm. just like that hey, Susan. it's got great weight to it love it to death you barely have to put any pressure on it at all love mm -hmm. it I was telling Ricky I said you know your knife saves me in the time that I can skin one beaver with that old Chinese knife that I got I got a crappy right knife El crapo beaver knife mm -hmm. I can skin two, if not three, with Ricky's knife. Yep. And one of the main reasons is you take one like that with that 
Chinese knife. And you have to. And you got to reach. You got to take it to the steel. Yep. The beaver cleaver. <laughs> I've skinned four beaver with his knife already. Me and Blaze have skinned four beavers with this knife, and it will still cut you and, and cut you deep. And actually, you nicked one because you thought you were going to have to put the same pressure down I went straight to the straight spine. Straight through the spine. <laughs> because he thought Oops. he'd have to put the same amount of pressure on but and it. Anyway, was not this necessary. is no longer known as just the beaver knife. <laughs> no. What's it called? Let me introduce you to the first time in a public forum straight from the Wallace Knife Works and Homestead. Let me be the first one to introduce y'all to the Big Bear Beaver Knife. That's what they're called from now on. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Can I get a hallelujah? Honey, you're going to get something in a minute. <laughs> that is now going to be a part of his ultimate. ultimate trappers kit mm -hmm. you can add it on if you don't trap beavers you can leave it off but i say to you this if you're a trapper and you don't trap beavers how you calling yourself a trapper <laughs> beavers are just the best and you can eat them you can eat them and it's fun because you get to splash around in the water i mean like what's better <laughs> That's my favorite I can't, I animal can't, to try. I can't have a man moment. Mm -mm. I love you know, it because I get to get in with you my get waders to splash around in the water. and I get to splash around. It's awesome. Yes. Big bear beaver knife. Big bear beaver knife. So if you want, even if you're not a trapper, this would look good on a wall. I'm just saying, like me, it looks good. <laughs> oh my god. And you can just, you can just. Put it on the wall. And you mm -hmm. hang on. It's, it'd be a good conversational piece. It could be up like this. Mm -hmm. Friends go like, what's that? Oh, oh, let me tell you about that. That's the Big Bear Beaver Knife. <laughs> well, what's a Big Bear Beaver Knife? Oh, you don't know? No, no, I don't know that. Hey, you ain't cool. <laughs> let me take you the don't know <laughs> what a Big Bear Beaver Knife is, then you... Mm. That, we just can't be bros anymore. Because mm -hmm. that means you don't know... Ricky Wallace is. And if you don't know who Ricky Wallace is, then you got to go. I'm just saying. Suit up! Oh, who we got coming in here? Oh, okay. It's your magical device on phone. Thank you. I have a child for sale. <laughs> Three. No, two. What? Just two. Three easy payments of get her out of my house. <laughs> so. Hmm. So. I am super excited. Yeah, he's legendary in his own mind. You're right. <laughs> it's not what you were saying last time. Jason, real? So. But Jason, I ain't a bro. Like real man. <laughs> so, I think everybody should go buy this just to show their love. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> no, but I think that's really cool that Ricky Wallace named this after me. Very cool. Very cool. And of course, he's got, of course, he got the the Jane Ol Skinners. And Which stuff. is also very nice to use. Sharp. Mm-hmm. Sharp. And see, and here's the thing, like when, when Ricky and I were talking today, I was like, and he was like, he was like, man, what do you do you think? Because I watched his video. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't seen that video about his trappers mm -hmm. uh, kit package, mm -hmm. um, you definitely need to, need, watch it. need to watch it. Watch any of his videos when he's making these things. I mean. He's making these things out of lawnmower blades. He's making, I mean, he's reclaiming a lot of steel. So he's helping the environment. Huge plus one in my book. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we are also in the process, once we recover 
from um, <laughs> fixing my truck, we are going to buy his kitchen set. Probably Christmas kind of gift ish yeah. kind of thing. For the house. It's going to mm -hmm. be a Christmas gift to the house. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, Can't wait for that. Then I'm going to put a whole bunch of money in the savings account for all the stitches that the kids are probably <laughs> No have to get. kidding. Probably lose a couple toes mm -hmm. from dropping them. <laughs> that kind of and, thing. Um, but you can watch his process. He'll, he explains stuff to you on his. Now, the only negative about Ricky is that he was in the Army. Mm -hmm. He was an Army guy. I don't know if that's a negative. Maybe to you, Jarheads. Watch him out. But Ricky is a great guy. He's very honest. I mean, I can't say. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I can't say enough about him. Good things about him. But I was talking to him today, and we were talking about it. And I said, "Look, I think there's there's a switch going on in this nation where people are tired of the throwaway attitude." buy something for a year and then throw it away or buy something for six months and throw it away people are starting to look for more quality tools quality things and the big bear beaver knife from wallace knife works in homestead is just that i'll put my reputation on it so <clears throat> ecuador homestead hello welcome Welcome, thanks for coming by. We are currently on a bathroom break. My beautiful bride had to go pinkle, and so she just said, poof, and disappeared. Um, number two negative thing about Ricky Wallace is that he is a Chevy guy. So I'm just saying. But y'all, go over there, check him out. He's got a great trapper's kit if you guys are interested in getting, if you're just starting out to do trapping. And here's, here's my number one thing. And I'm going to talk about this on Trap Talk on Thursday. Um, I'm going to see if I can even get Ricky to come on as a guest. Let me just drop that in your lap right there. And we're going to talk about that. Um, he, uh, tools, the tools. You don't buy the cheapest trap on the market. And just like the cheap, because why? Because it'll break, you'll get slippage, you'll get pull out, you get all these things wrong where you could wound or hurt an animal and then you got a wounded animal wandering around that's gonna become aggressive and it might hurt somebody or another animal and you don't you don't want that. So you buy good quality traps. Right. Well, what you do after you've caught this critter, well, you've got to skin it, and you've got to flesh it, and you've got to stretch it, and you've got to tan it. Why would you um, buy cheap, cheap then? Cheap tools. Yeah. And unfortunately, out on the market, we bought what we thought what was the going thing then. Right, the necker. Before, this, before I knew Ricky, stuff. we were buying what was considered the best on the market. Yep. And now we know better hmm. and that's a good point because we're selling trapping supplies yes but we won't we won't endorse the uh, I wish I knew what I did with them I wonder if I took them back out to the we shed. won't endorse the knives the way we do I mean one of the things okay well here's stuff. one of them okay here is the best camera and I'm gonna turn this over to Robin in a minute but I'm she went potty so I'm on my rant this is considered the best skinning knife on the market for trappers, okay? And I want you to look at the thickness of that blade, okay? A J. Noel Skinner, okay? Look at the thickness of that blade. Okay, side by side. Look at the bevels. Look at how this one, after two seasons, only two seasons of use, and look at all the nicks and everything that are in this knife. And this is the 
most expensive, the one with the best reputation on the market. And I've taken good care of this. Look at that. Look at the steel. Mm -hmm. I'm not bending a Ricky Wallace knife mm -hmm. like I can with this. Well, no. No, I was looking for something that I could probably go like... See how it bends? Yeah, look at the plastic handle. Yeah, you can't bend that one. You don't stab yourself through the coasters. <laughs> yeah, so, look at the plastic handle too, because that's yeah. just... That's just asking for yeah. bacteria and stuff. Ugh. Ricky's knives will be used by grandkids like I've used. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It'll be something you pass down. Mm -hmm. I have on to P33 need a reality check. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she's on that. But that's... And we'll, we'll go into more depth on Thursday on Trap Talk because we're going to be talking about the Big Bear Beaver Knife on Trap Talk. Yeah, the only reason we didn't on have Thursday. one this past Thursday is because we had to go pick Apollo up. So yeah. we weren't able to make it back in time to do the show. So, let's get into the oils class, Mama. Tonight's oil. Let me do a little... A little build-up. A little woof woof. Okay, wait. Before we do that, uh, so we got enough people in here. I'm sure most of y'all noticed always new times they're not in here um, she contacted me earlier professor's mom had to go back into the hospital so if you guys will keep them I know they've got a lot going on because you know her son and daughter-in-law just got here with all the grandkids and now they're having to deal with that so definitely keep them um, in your thoughts and prayers um, while they're dealing with that so, okay, so go ahead and tell what you okay. wanted to tell. So, tonight's oil just came out in doTERRA. Um, there's been a lot, a lot of research and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, working to get this oil out on the market um, as you know uh, if if you follow the oils world um, any that you know that a company recently has been fined put on probation and has to do community the, service, community like service investigations um, now uh, because of their oils well, their method of harvesting and they, they weren't following um protocol yeah they weren't following the, the rules the way they're supposed to yeah. um so they, they and and they were harvesting stuff that and i didn't know this um one of the things that they got in trouble for was harvesting spike nerd which we have not talked about but we're going to talk about soon um and one of the reasons <clears throat> I guess spike nerd is a it, it it's not very prolific and well, so it's protected. Let me let me interrupt you for a second. It is I'll tell you what it's not. It's not the kid at prom or at the dance with the glasses with spike the tape nerd. <laughs> that used when you spiked the punch and he drank a lot. No one that that's right. not what we're talking about. So I, I'm not gonna bash companies, but it, basically there was a company that they've been in a lot of trouble lately um, for some oil issues. But <clears throat> Spike Nerd, um, you have to, <clears throat> in order to keep it sustainable, when they harvest, they can't take the whole plant because the Spike Nerd, it's the root. And so when they pull it out, they have to put some of the root back in the ground when they plant it. And I don't know if that was part of what was happening or it wasn't being harvested properly or whatever. But for whatever reason, there were at least two different oils that they were doing not the right way. 
Um, so that's one of those reasons that we tell you guys to make sure you know where your stuff is coming from. Not all oils are created equal. Right. So, and, and you know, just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's better. Or if it's cheaper doesn't mean it's going to be worse. Um, or not as therapeutically, you know, um, not have the therapeutic potential that, you know, one that costs more does. Um, so now, I know when we were all back living in our younger days, <clears throat> we all thought many different ways of... <laughs> Stop. We all thought many different ways of thinking, and sometimes we took shortcuts. But it's time to stop living young and living, we need to start living maturely. And you got to do your research on your company that you get your oils from. And sometimes you get punched in the thigh, and <clears throat> our company, we're with doTERRA, and our company, they go above and beyond when it comes to making things are sustainable most of these farmers that are farming the lavender or the lemons or the orange no or, not those I'm, he doesn't know what he's talking about know he, talking he knows about. but he doesn't know i know what i'm talking about okay so like in nepal when they're getting um the spike nerd or wherever in these some of these countries are third world world countries is what he's trying to say so i was getting ready to say i was just using examples right but i mean lemon is not <laughs> and wild orange is not anyway <laughs> the third world countries that they go to mm -hmm. most of these other companies are just paying some of these farmers for the harvest mm -hmm. well that encourages the farmers and everybody to harvest early or to take shortcuts or not or, harvest at the right time right well, no, like there was, what was the one that we were talking, was it Lang Lang that's supposed to be harvested, or Jasmine, Jasmine, at like 3 o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. It's like it has to be done at a certain yeah, time because, because it flowers, it flowers oh, at a certain yeah. time. So like there's all these different things that can be taken into account, but when you're chasing a paycheck, and that doesn't matter whether you're third world or not, when you're chasing a paycheck, you're just doing your job. Yeah. You're not doing it necessarily right. You're trying to do it efficiently so that you can get that money. So what doTERRA does is they go in and they find the farms and they sit down and they have a chat with a farmer mm -hmm. and they pay them a salary throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And they've also gone in and built schools, built and, schools and done yeah. different initiatives to help the actual areas and the farmers as well miss um, miss glenda says how do you know if an oil is pure or not just because they say food grade and stuff no no mm -hmm. isn't there a study out where they can well you can look um kitty you sh i think you're a member of that the oils um facebook there's a consumer oils report or something like that on facebook you can ask to be a member of i'm not active as far as talking back and forth with them i simply go on there because they have a lot of the different um documents where they've done ga gas chromatography and the mass spectrometer there's testing. a whole lot of science and so it. they they go in and they um they go in and test these oils and they'll show if they've been adulterated or if they've been changed in any way shape or form um and so you can see different um different oils like a lot of they've done a lot of testing on the stuff that you can get at walmart mm -hmm. and it's really not like you can tell that the purity is not there no, no, no. um but the other thing too though is you got to be educated on what you're looking for because if you look at the ingredients you may look at it and go like lavender there's lavender and there's lavendin okay so a lot of lavender at walmart has lavendin in it just like it's not lavender a, just like there's legend and then legend right dairy, dairy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyway and and that's another thing 
so bourbon has a good point if you if you have a keen sense of smell you can tell a lot too and that'll kind of segue into what i was getting ready to say essential oils i don't know if anybody knows this but really what an essential oil is is it's the um the aromatic uh part of the the plant um so if you're starting to notice a smell difference which we've heard people say with the different where they pick the lavender from um and i imagine it's not much different than like with me doing granite i i can have different it's still the same name but you may have quarried it over here and then quarried it over there well maybe the runoff affected the water and into the ground it made this a different color than this one so um no it's not consumeroils.com it's it's a facebook group let me see if i can find it real quick okay while well, she's looking at that can i go ahead and introduce the oil um yeah but don't say a whole lot because i got kind of a way i want to do everything so go ahead okay so the new oil that came out at convention which was what three weeks ago a couple weeks ago yeah let's just say a couple weeks ago. is called drum roll please i can't say it i don't know Co copaya no copita copaiba copaiba some people say copaiba copaiba um Copa there's a couple different ways to pronounce it essential oil consumer reports is the name of the facebook group so if you go to that it's essential oil consumer reports you you do have to submit like to join and then they'll um they'll bring you in and it's a closed group but there's like 44,000 people that follow this page and there's a documents or a files section and if you go into that you can pull up the reports of when they've done the testing so that's pretty cool. So let's talk about tonight's oil. Okay. So what is it? Where does it come from? Um, it's harvested from a tree in Central South America in the Amazon rainforest. Okay. Um, they can grow to over a hundred feet tall. And massive trees yeah um, now the oil is made from oleoresin of the tree okay and what they do is they tap the tree very similar to how you trap tap a maple tree and they pull the resin out and then they steam distill the resin to make the oil okay so that's how it's um, processed it's a steam distillation um or distillation blah, 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 blah. all right so as far as history go, well actually before i say that um doTERRA's copaiba is not one oil it is a blend of four different species of this tree now the reason why they do that it's not so that they can make it sustainable it's not so that they can pull the wool over on somebody's eyes because they're adulterating it somehow. It's because they want to increase the potency of the actual oil. It's so that they can increase the therapeutic potential so that it's able to do more because there's four different types. And then also, um, it just, it makes for, it does make for a good sustainable practice as well. So, um, yes it is it is a well it's it is a um balsam type tree yes um but yeah the <clears throat> the resin that comes out of the tree is where they get the oil from okay so as far as history goes um it's been used this resin's been used for centuries in south america um Okay, the name of the Facebook page is Essential Oils Consumer or Essential Oil Consumer Reports is the name of that uh, group. Can one of my mods put that up there, please. Um, so hey Anita. <clears throat> All right, so they've been using it for years. Um, 
to promote like respiratory health, um, digestive health, urinary health, cardiovascular support, um, immune system, all of that. Um, it even was documented and reported that by the first European settlers that went into Central and South America, that they saw um, the American Indians, the indig indigenous American Indians that lived in that area um, using it anywhere from a baby to a warrior that just came back from fighting. Um, they used it to, so it has a lot of soothing properties, which you're going to tell everybody about. Um, what? <clears throat> I said that this oil has soothing oh, properties. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And that's what they, they used to use it um, for, to soothe a baby, to soothe somebody who, um, you know, who's, wounds were hurting you know that kind of stuff um and they used it for all different types of health support um all different systems of the body they used it for um okay so the big question is everybody who's been with doTERRA or is in the oil um i don't want to say business but has been paying attention to um oils in general this is a pretty big deal this oil coming out is is very big news do we sell rose geranium, geranium. i sell geranium <clears throat> yes geranium oil um but there's not a rose geranium well it's i know we got like a rose wood or something no no like. no no rosewood is the one that was, that was the problem the, okay it's been replaced with hoe wood Dairy head wounds. Yes, 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 yes. Is that what we put on Jason's head? Yes, it is. Jason, go ahead and tell your story. It's what, a good place what, to stop. What rose do we sell? Uh, well, we now have a rose, um, roll-on rose, but just rose petal, rose oil. Uh -huh. um, but the uh, geranium so is, but geranium smells um, a lot like rose. And that's what she's able to get geranium all the time and only sometimes rose yeah now rose kitty rose is about to be come october rose will be available as a roll-on um like the touch uh roll-ons um and it helps to have rose diluted so this is a really good deal to put the rose with the it's not going to be one of those where we only get it every once in a while it's going to be available as a full stock item so I buzzed, a lot of y'all know, I busted my noggin. On that side. You can't even barely see you it. You can barely even see it anymore. But it's... Yes, Amanda. Right. Would it help with withdrawal symptoms from somebody who's quitting smoking? Yes. Black pepper's another one, Amanda. Anyway, it's... Yeah. It's in this area somewhere. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And... Tuesday night, because we went Tuesday to the doctor. Went to the went to the ER, and they gave me as if y'all were on our live stream last night. You know that they gave put me in Percocet, Percocet land, land. <laughs> and unfortunately, when you go into Percocet land, you have a wonderful time. But then when you but come out of Percocet land, you do have to come out of Percocet land. About four to six hours later. Lucky for me. As I was leaving mm. Percocet Land, <laughs> we had our oils get together class, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. And we were talking about BOW! And the Miss Lucy, who we mm -hmm. absolutely love to death. Mm hmm. She said, well, let me put that on your head. Let me Robin, try it. Robin went over there, and she, said, she looked around, and she's like, why are you so stressed out? Well, Jason's got a concussion. She went and just told him my whole life story. Right, and his head's starting to hurt him again, and he started getting uh, nauseous again. So she came over, grabbed me by my arm, and was like, sit down, and sat me down. And she's like. <laughs> and so it was like, hi, 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 hi. And, and then she made you open your mouth and, and put it in your she, mouth. Everybody too. started chanting mm -hmm. and, and dancing and witch hats came out in a big block. Stop. And block. Okay. Anyway, that, none of that happened. But she put this on my wound. 
and I was kind of weirded out at first because like because I went, usually I'm the only one that puts oil on him so. well I went straight to like being five it's not gonna burn is it <laughs> and then she was like I don't know let's try and she they basically rubbed it all on my noggin and Which then she tickled a little bit you know because it was tender well it was still sore. open uh-huh and and then she's like open up your mouth I'm like what and she's like Ksh, and put three well really she put it in my hand and I did like I do with frankincense and I was it took about 30 nanoseconds maybe it was <laughs> quick, quick. Mm -hmm. and I was kind of like Ooh, I'm back in I'm back in Percocet land but I'm not in Percocet land I'm in Copaiba land Copaiba land but the nice thing about it was I wasn't like I, it wasn't like I was stoned I was just pain free yeah I was completely and utterly pain free I was able to pay attention in the class I was <laughs> I was able to participate I was I went from not wanting a fancy coffee to go give me a fancy coffee and give me food like he didn't want to eat yeah. nothing to all of a sudden he was eating off my plate and go get us some more you know and the other thing, but the other thing too, though, is we noticed full effect um, that the um, effectiveness is about two hours. Because after about those two hours, it yeah. started to throb again. And but, so you but, put it back on. Right, and but, it, but unlike Percocet mm -hmm. or any type of over-the-counter medication, it mm -hmm. takes... It took that one 30 to 45 minutes to kick in. Right. This kicked in like faster than the flash. <laughs> Can't look off me. Yeah. It was not, did not take long. Did not take long. The other though. thing too is he didn't have to worry about having food on his stomach. Or getting sick from it. I didn't have to worry about getting pulled over by the popo. <laughs> um, the only bad thing was is I just couldn't kiss my wife in public and, and do all that kind of stuff and people go oh he's on drugs mm -hmm. they gave him some drugs at the hospital mm -hmm. that was the only bad side mm -hmm. <clears throat> everybody's just like he's a freak but this stuff was the bomb.com to the point where that class lasted I'm going to say it lasted better part of two and a half it was almost three hours almost because three we got there hours. they probably put that on you about 6.30 and about 9.30 is when we were leaving so, did you get J David? I think Jeffrey? so. I think so. I did not get a chance to do oil samples this week because of all the craziness that happened. Oh my, my rollerball is empty. Wallace, if you need Ricky, if you need another one, let me know. Put another drop on and the pain is gone. Yep. I yep. literally walked in there and I asked Miss Lucy if I could get a couple more drops from her and she gave us this whole bottle. Mm -hmm. And I told her I'd pay her for it, but she said, no, I gotta do a review. I said, better yet, we'll do a class on it. Mm -hmm. Well, we were planning on doing it anyway, which yeah. is crazy because, I mean, I don't know if y'all remember from last week, I said I was gonna do this class. Last week, I said it, and before he hit his head. Yeah. So I had already put it down for what we were going to be talking about. Because here's the thing, guys, there's a lot of... Um, controversy. <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy Trauma. that's been out about cannabis oil everybody wants cannabis oil we have a friend well an acquaintance here in town who has a ch has a couple of children that have issues and she thinks that cannabis oil is just going to be the end all be all for her kids she can just get a doctor to let her have cannabis oil for her kids, <clears throat> kids now the other thing that i and i don't think anybody <clears throat> and maybe some people because there's probably a couple people in here who might be well versed on cannabis oil I don't know, but I was not as well versed as I thought I was <clears throat> um, There's a lot of different components and things that go on when we're talking about the big umbrella of Cannabis oil. There's a lot of different things that go into it and we're gonna talk about that but The first thing I want to talk about is what's this big deal about this oil? Like, why is all of a sudden, why is this such a big deal? Um, the first thing is, is that its main component is something called <clears throat> beta carophylline. Okay? That's a big word. Um, but basically what it is, is it's a sesquiterpene, which is antibacterial. It's very strongly anti-inflammatory. 
It's slightly antiseptic, hypotensive, and sedative. Okay, it also works as a liver and a gland stimulant. It has the ability to surpass the blood and brain barrier so it can enter brain tissue through the bloodstream, which is really cool. We like that. Um, now, beta carophylline, another um, thing about copaiba is copaiba is 55% beta carophylline. Okay? What, is, what exactly is that big word? Okay, beta carophylline is a cannabinoid okay there are three cannabinoids that we know of <clears throat> that are a big deal that are in um kind of the medical uh dictionary right now that everybody's talking about one or two of them you will probably know this bcp the beta carophylline a lot of people don't know about that one but oh. like susan susan just brought up one one is cbd Oh, and the I other one gonna, is THC. I thought you were going to say Autobots and Decepticons. No. <laughs> no. Um, so, basically, um, what... Let's see. Ba basically, what it is, is there's a system, okay? And it's your... I'm trying to remember the name of it. I've got it written down here somewhere. And uh, and a cannab and and a cannaboid. Is that what it is? <laughs> I know you ain't asking me. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Endo cannibalism. No. There it is. Endo cannabinoid. That's what it is. Okay. So, um, so in the endo cannabinoid uh, system there are receptors, okay? And <clears throat> there's two basic ones that we've talked, I'm, just, I'm sure there's several more, but there's two that come a lot into medical um, talk. So the first one is CB1 and the other one is CB2, okay? Now beta carophylline binds to CB2 receptors, okay? Um, THC binds to CB1. Now, CB1 um, affects, the CB1 receptors affect the brain and the central nervous system, okay? Okay. So, that deals with, like, memory processing, pain regulation, um, uh, <clears throat> what's the other one that I was listening to him talk about? Was the, um, about your appetite so which makes really funny sense when you start talking about THC and everybody gets the munchies right so that stimulates the appetite okay are you speaking from <clears throat> experience mm, no so CB2 receptors affect the endocrine system and the immune system along with a whole bunch of other things and the thing with CB2 receptors is they are all over um, they're all over your body and yes your body does absorb each one differently now the reason why um, I want to talk about this is because there's there's all these different names and, and terms and stuff that are getting thrown out there that I don't think everybody knows the distinction between everything That's okay fair. So, first of all, an essential oil. We talked about essential oil. Okay, essential oil, um, the essential oil by definition is a volatile, aromatic portion of the plant. And it's done through steam or hydro distillation. Okay, so it's either done through steam or water distillation. They, they get the oils off of that and that's how it's done. Okay, so if you were to have a cannabis essential oil, which there are some out there, okay, um, cannabis essential oil is steam distilled from the flower of the plant, and it has monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes, okay? 
Now, can you tell us what those are? I already told you what the sesquiterpenes are. The monoterpenes are basically, it's the same. They're chemical constituents that are in the oils that make them what they are. Okay. And so the sesquiterpenes, <laughs> monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes are very prominent in essential oils. And the sesquiterpenes have, um, Sesquiterpenes have all of those different uh, properties that I was telling you about earlier, especially anti-inflammatory. That's a really big one. Um, all right, so the next one is, and these are three different cannabinoids that we're talking about. So the first, I'm, I'm sorry, no. These are the different types of products that are coming out that are being talked about with cannabis. Okay, so the first one is cannabis essential oil. The second one is CBD, which is a cannabinoid, okay? It's extracted from hemp, okay? Um, okay, Glenda wants to know, would you fail a drug test if you used cannabis oil? If you used cannabis oil, um, there's still, there's still a possibility because it's being extracted from the plant. Now, Copaiba, no, because it is not marijuana. It's not, doesn't have THC in it. So you're not going to have that in there, okay? Um, now, CBD oil is extracted from hemp, which has a very low THC level. Oh, it's, it's pretty low. Um, it's not an essential oil and Cannabinoids like THC and CBD, they're not volatile. So, <clears throat> right, Teresa, I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, THC and CBD are not volatile. If anything, they're kind of semi-volatile. So, they're not accessible by steam or by hydrodistillation because of the size and also like the chemical stuff that goes with it and also the molecular weight these these the components are too big to be steam distilled okay um so <clears throat> non-volatiles like this are solvent extracted and the three common methods of a solvent extraction are ethanol, butane, and CO2. And I'm seeing a lot of CO2 stuff. When I went looking for different CBD oils and things like that, a lot of them, um, what's not from hemp? I, the, all the research I found said that CBD comes from hemp. Right. It, you're right, breakaway. It can get to less than point. Well, point. Okay, so CBD oil can be just about anywhere. It depends on what you're getting. <clears throat> and there, there are definitely some CBD oils that don't have. They have trace amounts. It's like 001 percent. The legal federal limit is like 0.3. So it's definitely up underneath that. And I'm not knocking CBD oil at all. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying there there's definitely CBD oils out there and they all have different properties of what they can work you know how they can do um, I made this oil not from hemp there are cannabis plants with only CBD okay um, <clears throat> all right so yeah, I thought it was from hemp but again I'm not gonna split hairs over what this is all the research I found was it was made from hemp oil um so or from hemp um now thc and cbd are cannabinoids they're chemical compounds that are secreted from the flower marijuana is very high um in thc is, is pretty high in thc hemp um hemp on the converse side is lower in thc so there's a lot of people that have been doing um, on the um, as far as uh, to being able to purchase stuff. There's been a lot of hemp stuff available for years because it doesn't have enough THC in it for it to be illegal most of the time. Um, and 
And what was Palmetto saying? Because cannabis oil doesn't always get you high. Right. Because cannabis oil, and that's, again, here's that thing. There's all this different stuff about what oil is what. Because you've got cannabis essential oil. You have CBD, which is cannabis whatever cannabidiol oil or whatever it's a different name for it there's a lot of different things out there they're not all the same is what i'm trying to say there there's several different um ways for that 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 plant to be effective <clears throat> so all right so why am i bringing that up okay i'm not gonna sit here and discuss cannabis oil the whole night the reason why I'm bringing that up is because the active ingredient, because the thing that everybody's going to is CBD oil, okay? Um, the main component in that is beta carophylline, okay? And CBD, the level of beta carophylline is 35, 37%, even on the higher end, good quality CBD oils, okay? Capiba <clears throat> has 55% beta carophylline. So, the stuff that's very effective is higher than in CBD oil. That's the only reason why I bring it up is because the stuff that's very effective as far as the beta carophyllenes go. Now, there are some people that having that trace amount of THC in there helps with anxiety and stuff like that. There's there's different things that are good for different people. So that's not it's not all going to work the same for everybody. So again, not saying that CBD oil is bad or cannabis essential oil is bad. I'm not saying that at all. But um the beta carophylline is at least in the 55 range. Um okay. And the thing is, is with some of the cannabis oils, it's like Teresa was saying, there's there's a trace um, of it being, having the THC in it. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate you putting that up there for me. Um, so, the thing is that people don't realize is a lot of the different pain medicines and stuff that are out there, they're meant to go for those uh, CB receptors, the cannabinoid, cannabinoid receptors. So this oil is definitely um, going to hit those CB2 receptors so that you're going to be able to, you know, work on respiratory function, a whole bunch of different things. What's wrong, baby? Nothing. Just, You're very quiet. Tonight. I'm trying to behave because I know you got a lot of information, but I'm itching to give away mm -hmm. a sample of this. Okay. Um, now, some of the research I saw said that CBD doesn't bind to CB1 or CB2 receptors. Now, I think that was on a certain study that somebody did. I don't know that that's all the way across the board. Um, but we do know that beta carophylline does bind to CB2 receptors throughout the body. So that's that's good to know. Um, it helps support against inflammation. It eases tension, anxiety. Um, it helps with ki kidney and liver support. Protects against autoimmune disruption. Um, it also helps to ease anxiety, all of that kind of different stuff. Um, help with your mood uh, also. So that's another thing um, that this oil does really well by having that BCP in it. You want to give away a sample? Yes. Okay. The first sample I'm giving away goes to Susan Sullivan. All right. She's been spot on mm -hmm. with a lot of the information. So Susan Sullivan gives the first, first little sample of we're giving away 15 samples of this bad boy tonight, so. When in doubt, <laughs> push nor can. <laughs> okay, so, um, the other thing Copaiba has in it is um, diterpenes, um, which are antimicrobial and also anti-inflammatory. So you're really um, doubling up on these anti-inflammatories. Now, 
Everybody normally thinks of anti-inflammatory as, well, it's just for my sore muscles. Well, no. Um, but the thing with, um, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, she lost her train of thought. While she's trying to find the old caboose, let's give away another one. And I want to give away. Get right down Rocky Brook. Because Rocky Brook's been going back and forth with us on this. And I would like to send a... So I don't want to sound like an ass. I, but I've, I've done this a lot. Let me try and I'll give an honest opinion. We're going to send you some Rocky Brook. Because this is, this is exactly why I wanted to bring up this conversation. Because there are going to be some people who, you know, it, it's one way or no way. Yep. And then there's other people that are completely open to it. And I like that attitude of, I'll, you know, I'll try it just to see if it works, you know. Um, but anyway, go ahead. Oh, I know I was going to say anti-inflammatory. Go ahead and finish your, your, go ahead and give another one away. We're giving away 15 samples tonight. I'll be I want to give it away to somebody that's new. Okay. New. Yes, Teresa, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get talking about that in just a second. Talk about an inflammatories. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. That's exactly what I was talking about. So go ahead. I'm trying to look for a new name. Anybody new names here? See, Rocky Brook, the reason why I, um, I'm all for trying something like this is because I'm terrified, is, and I'm waiting for Palmetto to jump on this because he is all about the opposite of this. But I am a rule follower. I don't like to break the rules. And if there is a slight so possibility so that I could be breaking a rule with cannabis oil in any way, shape, or form, I'm not going to use it. I don't care what the benefits are. Because I don't want there to be any chance whatsoever. I, I just don't. I'm not going to take that chance. So if I can find something that's going to have the same therapeutic qualities and I don't have to worry about a drug test because there's no possibility, even though... And, and everything I've read, it says you don't have to worry about a drug test with a lot of these cannabis oils. You don't. You really don't. As long as it doesn't have a THC in it or if it's a very small traceable amount. You don't have to worry about it. But the thing is, I'm one of those people that I'm like, well, wait. If I don't have to break a rule, God I'm not going to worry about it. People. I am. I really am. So for me to have something like this that's an alternative to that... I'm all, all about it. I am excited to try it. So that's the thing. <laughs> so that's my, my whole take on that. Now we weren't talking about old as far as old people. We were talking about, or new people. We were talking about, we have some new visitors that have been, um, they were in the chat at the beginning and I think that. I hope they didn't leave. Yeah. I think they might have left. If this is your first time watching our show, please, please speak up. I want to give you something. <laughs> if not, then I got to give it to Palmetto because I promised him a sample too. And I'm writing his name down anyway. I mean, I literally went and sent Amanda a message and said, tell him to get on my show. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's some rules you follow, isn't it, Palmetto? Yeah. My, I follow rules, my own rules. Yeah, you, I told you to get in. Look where you at. Yeah, there's gray areas. Yeah, and I, I get that, guys. I'm not, that's why I was saying, um, you know, it, <laughs> I, I, I'm not condoning anybody to be a rule, rule breaker or to never break the rules. I just, that's just me personally. So that's, hey, Palmetto. Um, let's see. Would this one be one to cut with olive oil? I mean, with um, oil. You do, you can use this neat, but one of the things they're finding is that, um, 
what's the word called when you dilute it dilution is actually helping a lot um, with uh, spreading out the oil to make it more to get it to where it'll absorb in the skin better so that's something um, <laughs> consult with your <laughs> with your health provider don't consort with them that might make the hubby mad <laughs> Green Gables, we're talking about Copaiba, or Copaiba. That's uh, all she gets to look, JT. <laughs> Mark Krieger. Krieger, yeah, Krieger. we're glad you're here too, yay. I've awesome. seen, you're, you're He's ferratively, in. ferratively new. Ferratively? Ferratively. Nice. So, you just won a free sample of <sighs> Okay. Okay, go ahead. So, Let's do some more. All right, so anti-inflammatory is what we were talking about, right? So anti-inflammatory is not just you were working out and you twisted something and now your muscle hurts. And so you have to take an anti-inflammatory for it. Anti-inflammatory works throughout the entire body. So um, for it lowering inflammation, it could be anywhere from the blood vessels that are inside your heart that help to bring down blood pressure. It can be inflammation in your head from a head wound. It can be, um, it can be uh, allergies, having, um, having inflammation in your lungs. It, I mean, that inflammation goes everywhere. So, will it help arthritis or the rollerball that you sent better? Um, it would probably, well, uh, Ricky, it might be good to add into the rollerball uh, recipe. Um, this was not one that I had had before, so I think it might, um, We'll know. try it out. We'll put it in your rollerball. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Copaiba is, it's an analgesic. What? Um, it's anal. Analgesic analgesic now that means pain right it helps with pain now i thought this was interesting there was a study that they did and i, I kind of felt bad for these um <laughs> they, they did they had rabbits and they put they put cat hair um yes you can ingest it massage it and you can inhale it it's all three um aromatically ingest and topically um, but don't use it too much because you can cause stomach issues if you use it too much. Um, and allergies to this oil have been very rare. We haven't heard a lot. Just because doTERRA has just come out with it doesn't mean that it just came out. It's been out for a while. Um, so We've got our own little test group that it goes to. Yeah, but it's been, it, it's, it's been used for, I mean, like we said, hundreds of years. It's just, um, just now being... Um, sourced for commercial yeah um so they they had these rabbits and they put cat hair i think it was cat hair um inside like poked the insides of their eyes and then um <laughs> okay um they poked it oh not cat hair cat whiskers okay so they they poked the cat the rabbits with cat whiskers and then they gave them the um copaiba and it actually worked as an analgesic they had to stimulate it more with the whiskers to be able to get it to blink more so the blinking slowed down and almost stopped even though they were poking it with the same whisker but then they had to poke it with more to be able to get him to blink more so um, that was, oops, I think we broke it. <laughs> that was the analgesic part of it. They, um, tested the reception to pain, um, through that oil being able to, to block some of that. Um, uh, again, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, it's antifungal. Um, yes, Susan, you're absolutely right. doTERRA does more testing than any other company. That's absolutely right. And they stand behind that. Um, they do grass, uh, gas chromatography and mass spectrometer tests on everything. Um, a lot of these oils make me gas test. <laughs> um, the health of the skin and hair, it also helps boost respiratory health. 
Um, it'll lessen the appearance of scarring. It's a diuretic. Um, and it's also hypotensive, so it'll help lower blood pressure. So that's just a couple of the things. It is one of the most anti-inflammatory substances available. Okay? So it's very powerful when it comes to anti-inflammatory um, issues. Now, let's talk about the different systems of the body. First of all, brain. Um, it helps with... Um, tissue preservation and yeah okay so susan that's another thing that i didn't even think to bring up um with this oil and the way that it's being sourced um it is free of pesticides heavy metals and contaminants now when you're doing um any of these other the oils we were talking about before that cause such controversy um there's not as much um regulation because you've got a million different sources and you've got people processing it differently and extracting it differently you don't have the same amount of you know uh paying attention to pesticides heavy metals contaminants things like that that go into the whole process of growing the um, marijuana or anything else, you know. So there's a lot of different things that go into that versus this this oil. So that's another thing to keep in mind um, is that as well. Um, so Kitty said um, the Amazon rainforest represents over half of the planet's remaining rainforest, and DoTerra is partnering with a large network of the harvesters that sustainably collect the oleoresin and ensure the trees will be around for years to come. So they're definitely, um, uh, Pat, I got Caleb's email, I mean his message, and I sent something back, um, to him this afternoon. So, okay, so as far as the systems go with the brain, um, tissue preservation and the anti-inflammatory response. Now, there was a study in Brazil that I found that tested on rats and they put a neurotoxin in the rats. Now was this was this the little furry rats or was this the guys that just just told on everybody? No, these were the furry ones that told on everybody. <laughs> um, so they injected them with a neurotoxin called NMDA. <clears throat> And it was to cause an inflammation that would be similar to somebody who has a stroke or a brain or a spinal cord injury. It produced, it's supposed to invoke that kind of a response. Okay. So what they did, and I've put a link, because I really thought this was cool. I put a link to the study in the um, description. So you can check it out. I'm not making it up. Um, they... There's an image I didn't want. What? Hope in the tub. Oh, I had to jump in the tub. Um, what they did was... Delete the, <clears throat> the stuff that happens with a stroke or brain following, or a brain injury or spinal cord injury after that is there's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of inflammation that happens after that that can cause all kinds of things like necrosis in the tissue and all kinds of damage that, that happens after the fact. Well, what they did is they gave these, uh, they had a control group, and they did everything the way that they were supposed to. They, it was a very valid um, test. <clears throat> they um, gave the one of the groups uh, the Copaiba uh, oil resin, and they found that it induced neuroprotection by, and these are their words, by modulating an inflammatory response following acute damage to the central nervous system. So basically what happened is it, it lowered the amount of inflammation that was going on in their um, brains. So very cool study and the implications for that are pretty, pretty cool. So um, I think the use for this as far as brain health goes um, is also a 
very cool thing to think about is that this could be very good for overall brain health. Um, anybody who's worried about, <clears throat> um, anybody who's worried about like any kind of degenerative issue, um, Dementia. with the brain, this is definitely one of those Alzheimer's. oils that would, you know, would help with that. Now, another one, it's not a tool. <clears throat> Another oil that's high, now this is not the only oil that's high in beta carophylline. Um, black pepper actually has beta carophylline in it as well. And Can I, you say that like three times? Like really beta carophylline, beta carophylline, beta carophylline. <laughs> I said say it, not sing it. And... Sing it. Okay, so let's move on to the, um, the heart. No, let's give another sample of that. Okay. You pick a winner. No. Yes. Pick one. Mm -mm. Pick. No, because I Pick. already gave you. Choose. Choose. Because I already choose, gave you Rocky choose, Brook and choose, Palmetto. Choose. 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 <clears throat> choose. 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 Let's give it to Niana. Because Niana has a lot of um, issues as well. Niana. You just want a second. Okay. So, let's talk about cardiovascular health. Now, this oil will help relieve the strain and tension in the blood vessels and that's what helps with um keeping the heart healthy because if you do that you're going to help lower blood pressure it'll lessen the chance of stroke heart attack due to the stress that's, that can happen in the heart remember the anti-inflammatory stuff so um this definitely is one of those where you talk about rosemary no we're talking about copaiba what hope what did she say i didn't see her pick me because i'm watching whoa hey now <laughs> is it safe to use during pregnancy <clears throat> susan help me with that one i don't I, I don't remember seeing anything that said that it was not good um but i want to say i saw somewhere on here that was antispasmodic which would be okay. It would mean you wouldn't, um, it wouldn't cause you to go into contractions pre, you know, preterm or anything. But, um, again, I would always ask, you know, ask somebody, um, that's going to know more. Cause I'm, I'm most definitely not a doctor or a, you know, care, what do they call that? Family care or whatever. Pick me because my blood pressure is high. <laughs> okay, Pat, you just got a free sample. Okay. Um, okay, <laughs> Teresa says no. <clears throat> so that, and, and a lot of these oils, guys, I don't, I mean, pregnancy is one of those things that I just don't want to mess around with. And that's like goes back to the whole um, following the rules. Um, that's one of those that, you know, I'd be very, very, very careful. Okay. And Teresa, that's a valid point because of the blood barrier, um, breaking the blood brain barrier issue that that could be, that could cause problems. So I would, yeah, then that makes perfect sense. Um, I would be very careful using, um, using any kind of oils during pregnancy. I would check, double check and triple check before I did anything with that. Um, yes, Susan, that's true. It does, it, it has been, uh, known to help with menstruation. Oh, here we go down that road mm -hmm. again. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> as far as the digestive system goes, it is really good for, um, digestive support as well. Um, it's a diuretic, so, um, it helps with, um, cleansing the body, detoxifying the system. It helps really, it's a powerful antioxidant. So it's going to help getting, um, it's going to help to get, uh, all of the bad, the free radicals and stuff like that out of your system. So, um, definitely good use for liver and, mm -hmm. um, kidney health, all of that kind of stuff. Um, Give Tanya Turner. <laughs> Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Immune system. Definitely, definitely, definitely um, 
supports the immune system. Um, again, with the anti-inflammatory stuff, also it's antiviral, antibacterial. Um, it, <clears throat> <laughs> um, it definitely helps overall immune support. It boosts the immune system. So it's, it's definitely going to help keep you healthy. Um, you know, and keep you, keep you feeling good. Um, now the integumentary system, this is your skin, nail, nails, and hair. Um, it's, this oil is astringent. Um, so it's going to help with overall skin tone, um, wrinkles, pimples, splotches, any kind of, um, any kind of um, skin issue, Copaiva will help with that. Yes, Susan, Jason did, he's tasted it. I mean, he, he, you put it in your mouth a little while ago, didn't you? Yeah. So, he's already tasted it, so there's no shock value there. It is not the best tasting thing. It ain't that bad. Frankincense is worse. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and it's not exactly the greatest <clears throat> smell either. No, no, it stinks yeah, like Yeah, it's, it's very earthy. It stinks it like earthy? my butt after going to a three-day tour on a Mexican, Mexican restaurant. Yeah, but, let me see. Yeah, it's it's very earthy. Um, and look, I take this every morning with my frankincense. Yeah. And I can tell a difference from... Just taking the frankincense every day, and then since I started adding this, mm -hmm. helps out a lot. Yeah. Well, it worked with brittle nails. Yeah, but there's other things that work really well with brittle nails as well. Um, <clears throat> that what happens is is that this this oil has very powerful nutrients that help with the healing process. Hey, leave me alone about my pink lighter. I'm saving the tatas. Yeah. <laughs> um, it. It helps to reduce the appearance of scars, blisters, marks, pimples, all of that different stuff. Um, it's also a very powerful um, anti-fungal. Uh, okay, so Susan's asked twice now, is this the one with clove and orange? What are you talking about? Because she asked that earlier. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. No, she's not talking about this one. No. Copaiba is not. I don't can you take it in a capsule? Yes, absolutely. Or you can take it just... Jason literally just opened it up and put it... Um, I just put three drops underneath Does it my... smell like patchouli? No. It's like... Um, believe it or not, it kind of smells like cedar wood to me. Smell it. Is it like cedar wood? Yeah. It's it's definitely a wood. Like you you can smell it. It comes from the tree. I mean, you can definitely smell it. That's a good question, Jatan. So Jatan, you're gonna go ahead and get a, a sample too. Did this help now, with my Now check Jatan is Deterra, so if she doesn't if she has it, then we'll give it to somebody else. If you don't have it though, Jatan, I'll be more than happy. What blend? Which blend are you talking about? Um, but to answer your question, Jatan, I believe that it has. Mm -hmm. I believe that I was able to get over it a lot faster. He was driving in two days. Yeah. He shouldn't have been. Um, if it does, Susan, I'm all for that. Love the smell of patchouli. See, some people like patchouli. Some people don't. I don't um, like patchouli. That's the hemorrhoid one, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Cedarwood smells like cat. But it doesn't smell like cat. Here. I know what you're talking about. Um... Um, it, it doesn't smell like cat urine to me. It just smells wood, woodsy. It smells woody. Very woodsy. Um, it's definitely wood. <laughs> Climbing back out of the gutter. <sighs> um, okay. Um, okay. So, again, with mood, this helps, um, with mood as well. It helps overall to, to boost your mood, <clears throat> put you in a better mood. Um, as far as muscular goes, obviously the anti-inflammatory properties, um, analgesic, it helps with headaches, migraines, um, joint pain, anything like that. Um, this is definitely going to help with. Sandy's Travels in a Garden, Gardening Adventures wants to know my daily routine with the oils. Well, we'll tell that in just a second. Let me okay. finish because I'm just about done. Just about um, done. As far as respiratory goes, um, 
it helps relieve congestion. Um, Susan, I was thinking about this. I was thinking about you when I was doing, when, when we heard about this oil because there was a lady there um, that has COPD really bad. And when they went to the convention in Utah, it totally, totally, totally messed with her system. She was coughing and hacking constantly. She said they got their kits because this came in the kit. She used it and within, I mean, it was not long. She had immediate relief. So this definitely, definitely, definitely helps with respiratory, um, respiratory health. So it's, this is one of those oils. That's why it's such a big deal. Everybody's getting so excited about it is because of the power of that beta carotene that's in that oil um, is helpful with so many different, all of the major systems because of its potent anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it, I mean, it's going to be one of those that you can use for overall every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to be one of those that you could use in your daily regimen to help with overall immune support, um, heart health, brain health. I mean, you name it, it just about covers just about every system. Um, well, Susan, well, we're sending you this, so definitely try it and let us know. Um, because, again, we don't have any kind of respiratory issues like that. Um, Except for when Robin eats cabbage. But um, we're going to send one to winter, too. Okay. Winter, make sure you send me your information. I think no, she's, no, she's right, there. right there. Okay. Um, you have my attention, my dad. Lung capacity needs. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could definitely diffuse it. She's marine, right? Yep. Okay. Let me say one thing, guys. Even if I've sent you something before, send me your email address again, please, because having to go back, um. And, and try to find everybody's address is very time consuming. So if, it, if you would just take the extra five seconds to just, yes, even right now, while you're, you're sitting here right now, open up another tab, write up your email real quick to me and just send me your email because, or send me your mailing address because, um, it's one of those, you know. Now, Neona, when I used it for my head pain and everything, it, it lasted two and a half, three hours. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Tanya, please send us. Your yeah, everybody, spirit. everybody, just send me your email. Take the 10 seconds that it'll take to type in your email and do it that way. Lorelai, I'm sending you one. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to let you try it and see if it works. Um, yeah. Bass, send us yours too. Yeah, everybody, send me your email. I mean, your, your physical address so and, that I can. And let it. me, let me go ahead and do this right now. Let me ask everybody's permission in here. Will it work for sciatica? I would think. Um, can, do we have your permission that once you send us your email address for us to put it in like a uh, Excel file or on a Word file? That way Robin can go back to it. Especially like next month, we're yeah. going to be releasing a bunch of new oils. And I would love to be able to just write something up to let everybody know about all the new stuff that we got yeah. coming out. We so. won't give it out to anybody. We'll just use it. We won't spam you. You know, but if a new oil's coming out, we will give you guys the heads, the up, heads up. Yeah. When she's gonna be doing mm -hmm. the, doing the class and and, and then stuff also like, that. like if Just I can get just an extra benefit of winning. Right, and then the other thing too is you know I've had a couple people ask about these books. Um, yeah, David, I think I got yours. Um, you know I like David. Give him one too. The books. Um, everybody's asking about all the different essential oil books. If I could get everybody that wanted, you know, to um, get the book, got their email, if I could send out an email and say, hey, I'm getting ready to oil the, order these books, anybody want one, then I could get a better, you know, idea of who... Um, you know what, Bass, I forgot all about that. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. so you can start a thing.
Yeah, I'm not sending any spam to anybody. Thank you, Breakaway. We appreciate that. Yeah, that's awesome. Matter of fact, Breakaway, you get a sample too. How many am I up to? Well, and Bre Breakaway is one that said that they use CBD oil and they work for the mm. government and have never had any issues. And um, that, you know, um, will tell you, you know. Yes, it will help with, I have heard it will help with fibro. Also asthma, um, ruptured discs, possibly. Jason has um, issues with his discs and his I got back. some alleys on my back. Yeah, so it's another one that we, and he may just, because of the internal use, um, just to see if it helps overall with inflammation well, you in know, his system. I mean, it hasn't really been hurting that much. And see, and that's, I've been doing a yeah. lot of sitting, so. Yeah, so. Subscription tab for different things to your new website. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. Nice spam sandwich. Ah, you know what? We got spam. We got to have some spam sandwiches. You know what? Okay. Green Gables hasn't been around in a while. Give her it one, too. Okay, if you want it. Just ask her and make sure. Why wouldn't you want it? She do Tara too? No. But I don't know. I mean, she may... Again, if you guys don't want this, let me know so that I can give it to yeah. somebody who does. And so. before we go off, we're going to go remind everybody on the list that we're giving this stuff away to. Now, if you're in our downline anyway, you're automatically getting a free sample anyway. Kitty, Amanda, you guys are... are we're going to hook y'all up that way, mm -hmm. so... Oxygen so. concentrator. I don't, yeah. Is it? No, it's not, Kitty. So all of this information that I gave you guys tonight Invaluable. is literally stuff that I had to dig for. Like, I've been digging. And that's why when we started going back and forth about THC and this, that, and the other, I, I'm telling you, I really did look this stuff up. I'm not just going she's off of what somebody told she's me. Been lo she locked herself in the schoolhouse about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Will there be an update on the new oils and uses? Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Green yeah, Gables so she already has it. some. See, so that's the thing is Kapiva has been out from different companies for years. Mm -hmm. It's just new to, um, it's just new to doTERRA. So. Yeah, go ahead, Tanya. Um, yeah, just, yeah, you can do that. If you want to send it to me on Facebook, that's fine too. Um, and either way. Give, it, give the one that I was going to give to Green Gables, give it to Teresa. Teresa's been with us for a long, long time. And Kiwi. Give Kiwi one, too, because Kiwi has been with us since the beginning. At the very beginning. You know, it was fun. Yeah, see, Breakaway said they've had no positive results on your analysis. And that's the thing. Um, it, no, Teresa, that's why I'm bootlegging for one. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoops! <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the thing. Is um, Definitely... Do your, you know, we're, Breakaway, we're going to send you one. We're going to send, um, um, how many we got so far? Rocky Brook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. I got one more. Mm, sure. But I still got to send what you just said. Dealing with an inner ear infection. What do you have to help? Basil. Basil. Basil is really good for ear. Basil. Yeah, you have to, Susan. You have to look on the internet. And the thing is, is that even at the convention, they gave a general synopsis of what was going on. And there's also, there is a YouTube um, presentation that they did at convention from Dr. Hill. Um, and I can put that link up if you want to look at it. That's about 13 or 14 minutes. It basically goes into everything that I just told you. So I just tried to do it, you know, a little bit um, better with that. Um, recycled Cottage. Yep, put them down. I believe enough about our company and about how excited they are about this oil that um the, the, that's why I feel so strongly about I'm literally buying y'all I am buying a full bottle of this to give away 
there there will be 15 samples that come out of one of these bottles so that's what um you know what we've we believe in it that much. That's what I wanted to do was share it with that as many people as I can. What's good for tonight is driving my wife crazy. Helichrysum, juniper berry, and something else. Well, how much does this, how much does a 15? About $46, I think. So 50 bucks. Yeah, something like that. And you know, um, the last oil stream, we were donated 50 bucks. Can we buy another one and get and I give out 15 more samples? Well, that was the reason why I was giving away... <laughs> a full bottle because we got a fifty dollars. <laughs> oh. That was the whole reason because I mean I when we got that I was like, Well, that's exactly why I got it because oh, okay. um but yeah, I mean we you know, and we may revisit it again and do it again. Um I'm trying to remember where I found that tonight. It's, it's juniper berry, helichrysum. Um, 46, 67. There you go. Yep. Um, because I knew it was son of a gun. I know where I found it. Lavender, cypress, juniper berry, and helichrysum. Um, you put them all together. Um, and then you massage it right around. And then you put it here. right on your tragus. And then back here behind. Um, and that works out really, really, really well. The helichrysum and the juniper berry, those are both really small. Um small bottles so you definitely have to um you know mm -hmm. jason you can't be giving your money away no it's not our money everybody's giving us some um, stuff so um any money that we get from the from the super chat tanya that's what we use it for we use it for giveaways Because we don't do this to, to make money. I mean, YouTube has basically demonetized about... A lot of our stuff. Yeah. My essential oils class from last week has been demonetized. So... It's, it's not what it's about. We're doing this just to... We want to put these oils in y'all's hands. We want to help you guys get away from the commercialization of medical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. just the, be the best way to put it. And... We believe, look, when she first started doing this, I was kind of like, okay, mm -hmm. crazy doctor. Mm -hmm. But the more she started to use it on me for all the different things that I have, I become a believer. Well, I'll tell you the thing that's really cool is our kids now. Mm -hmm. Blaze, yesterday, came to me, he's like, I stepped on a nail. What do I need to do? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean, what do you need to do? What oil do I need to put on? Yeah. <laughs> and this is not, it's not just about the oils. This is changing to a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. These, look, the good Lord put all of these plants on this planet because he knew we would get sick. And he, he knew we needed a way to get better. Mm -hmm. And so he gave us all of these wonderful plants. And at the end of the day, whether you believe in God or not, here is a fact that whether you're a believer or not, that you can't, you can't uh, argue with. More and more strands of disease and sickness and bugs and viruses and anything else, they're becoming antibiotic resistant. No, we don't have an antibiotic to fight it. Mm -hmm. And how did medicine get started? Well, medicine got started because way, way back in the day, we used herbs and all these different things that are in these oils. We use them to keep ourselves healthy. Well, and even on the bad side of things, there I mean, there are people that have been watching what 
peyote and all of that stuff did, mm -hmm. you know, to alter the mind, and they've created drugs that do right. that as well. So, I mean, either way, right. um, yeah. So, what did greedy the greedy human being did do? Well, we started um, trying to mimic what we were getting from the pants synthetically. Mm -hmm. well, Sandy, two drops each. Well, guess what? The things have changed, evolved, or whatever, and now all of these antibiotics and stuff are not doing their job. We've gotten so far away from the root that Night, sweetheart. it's not working anymore. These bugs and these viruses and these sicknesses and everything are so used to synthetic stuff that they don't know how to combat the natural the natural stuff mm -hmm. yep so and there's actually some oils that are good for um, antibiotic resistant strains mm -hmm. as well and I'm not I don't remember I know we've covered some of them so we could look that up but um, I know I've covered it before right and don't get me wrong I'm not saying so that's a new recipe um, that's for a bath um, cypress lemon rosemary rose chamomile and lavender vaporizer massage inhale and bath yeah so the the recipe I have is just like four or five oils mm. and you just mix them all up and then you fill the rest of the bottle with a carrier oil and then you just apply to the the tragus into the back of the ear and again it doesn't get it it doesn't cure it or get rid of it. It just eases some of the, the ringing. So, yes, pasteurization, penicillin, all discovered by accident and now as mainstay. But all things mm -hmm. evolve and develop immunity to what we have. Exactly. Right. Right. Natural is what they had in the past. And you know, a lot of those antibiotics and stuff that, that you guys are getting, some of them are what they call a shot a shotgun antibiotic. Mm -hmm. just it just kills everything. It's killing everything. Mm -hmm. So that's even killing the good bacteria that you need in your gut. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people drink kombucha, raw milk. Milk, um, kefir, kefir white, water kefir. Yeah. All that kind of. They're eating more fermented foods. Why? To get the good bacteria back in their gut. And that good bacteria, it helps promote a healthy immune system mm -hmm. and that's what we want because no matter if it's these or an antibiotic over the table you are if you don't have a semi healthy immune system mm -hmm. not really gonna work anyway mm -hmm. you know so you got to eat healthy you gotta you gotta but do now, you gotta do the e-word right so now this this oil helps with immu immune yeah, support. It, it so, helps your immune system. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm So that's that's my little more similar. Okay. <laughs> so I need a gallon jar to start my booch. Get you some pickles. Yeah. Go buy a big gallon jug of pickles. And then when you're done eating the pickles, then you go that way. Did I get your address? Probably, but my phone's dead. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, so Anita says, that's why I'm so messed up o from overexposure to antibiotics as a kid. It's killed my resistance to medications and absorption to meds. That's why I'm so messed up now. Um, that's not. <laughs> the books I'm talking, uh, the books I was talking about before were the these books, the Modern Essential Books and the Essential Life Books. I think some people are talking about the book that I'm getting ready to write. So a lot of people want your book. Yeah, I'm working on it, guys. It's yeah. just I've got so much in here that I want to put there. They don't want my book. They want your book. Nobody asked about my book. Just saying. I'm not gonna <laughs> use it. I thought you was gonna mm -hmm. use it. So, pickles. I have a small jar of pickles in the fridge from six months ago. No one touches them. <laughs> make relish. Use them to make, just chop them up and use them for relish. IBS. Ooh. What did, peppermint works good for IBS, doesn't it? 
Somebody asked, what's my daily oil yes. routine? Yes. When I wake up, 4 o'clock in the morning, hmm. um, I do two, like drops. two to three drops of frankincense under my tongue. I do two to three drops of this one under my tongue. And then I have a cup of coffee. Um, every time when I eat, I'll be huffing on peppermint because um, that helps with the digestive properties because I've got a hernia in my GI tract that sometimes stuff gets lodged in there and it just becomes hiccups and it's just nasty. I'll use Digest Zen. Um, throughout the day, I'm getting ready to start what, the, what doTERRA calls the Lifelong Vitality Pack. Mm -hmm. um, that has a lot of good stuff in it and it breaks up in three parts at the end of the day but it, at night time i'll put um serenity mm -hmm. on either on guard or oregano um on the bottom of my feet and then we'll diffuse lavender or um, what's the other one what's the other common one that you like to diffuse at night yeah Cedarwood, Cedar. vetiver. I mean, there's a bunch. There, there's a, a bunch. Now, when I go to take my shower, take my bath, I'm diffusing eucalyptus to help with my, to break everything up, keep my lungs good and healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll also have uh, one of the common blends going Serenity or some Balance, lavender. lavender. Balance, something like that. If I'm having a bad day and Robin sneaks up to me, and puts the oils on me. I have no clue what she's putting on me. All I know is I go from wanting to rip somebody's throat out to like, it's okay. So that, you'd have to ask her for that one. But those are not usually on a daily basis. Those are just usually when we're out in public. You know, Mark, another really good one, yeah, is good for Crohn's. Kombucha is really good because that's adding that good flora back into your stomach to help with all of the digestive stuff. Um, Mark, another one is there's something called Digest Zen. It's a blend. Um, it's got a bunch of different oils in it that is also good for um, IBS, Crohn's, all of that, any kind of digestive issues. When we're in the schoolhouse, we are diffusing lemon. And um, rosemary. And rosemary. And that's because lemon is really good for focus, keeping them alert. And then rosemary is for their memory. Um, it's very good for the memory. This is a little off topic, but our cat has had ear mites before. What can I use oils wise? Uh, Kitty, do you have that link for the stuff for cats? Because you can't, well, and Kitty will tell you, you're not supposed to use Melaleuca on your cat, but she, her cats love Melaleuca. And that, see, and that's what she's saying. She's used tea tree oil and a tiny bit of coconut oil. But it's funny because, a lot of the documentation will tell you not to use tea tree oil with, with cats, but she swears by it. So it just kind of depends on what you're willing to try, I guess. Now here's some here's some other things that I that I use oils for. We got a diffuser for the truck that plugs into the it's just a little clay uh, cigarette disc. lighter. Mm -hmm. When Carol's in the car, I'm diffusing peppermint. No, we're not on steam it. Um, Probably need to be though. What is Steam it? It's another social media platform. Oh. Um, because Carolyn will get car sick in a heartbeat, but yes. we diffuse the peppermint and she's good to go. Mm -hmm. um, after two three weeks of going back and forth to work at the dairy with the the cow manure mm -hmm. boots and everything like that, when I clean the truck, I diffuse basil in the truck. While, I'll, while I'm washing it, I will close up the truck and diffuse the basil in there because the basil will eliminate any, it's like the, it's like Febreze on steroids. Mm -hmm. It will totally just Another good one is ginger. Any, ginger any, is a really good one that yeah. smells and kind of, um, lemon, lemon will actually kill the bacteria in the air that's causing some of the odor smell. So you can try lemon as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so, 
I had to wrangle two-year-olds in Bible class this morning. What can I diffuse to help calm them down? <laughs> Lavender. Um, Serenity is a really good one. I love Serenity. Which one does Carol use in her classroom? Uh, Lavender. Lavender. Mm -hmm. And I think she's used Serenity as well. Um, another good one is Balance. Balance is a good one. Um, Cedarwood is always... Anything... Okay, so the way I always remember this is anything that smells like dirt is a good one because it's grounding right that's how I remember that um, so uh, the diffusers for the car if you look on Amazon I'm sure you can find one we found ours at Bath and uh, Bed Bath and Beyond um, but I bet you can probably find one. I'll find I'll find a link after the while this thing is while this video is processing mm -hmm. Ricky and I'll put it in the description come so back. You can, yeah. You can come um, back. And he said that. she mopped with the lemon oil today and her house smells amazing. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. really cool thing about that is not only does it smell good, but, but it's, it's antibacterial. So it was killing all of the yuck that was going on in your on your floor as well. So that's also really, really cool is that there's a lot more to these oils mm -hmm. than just smells you know well you guys remember last archery season when i did that product review on um terra shield, terra shield. Mm -hmm. we've put terra shield in the laundry pods mm -hmm. and put my uh camo and put that laundry pod in my camo mm -hmm. load <clears throat> you can tell it's getting late it's hard for me to form sentences mm -hmm. um and I was would be out in the deer stand, and there'd be clouds of mosquitoes around Everywhere, me. Everywhere, but, but not they on weren't, him. <laughs> but they were not on me and biting me. So the Terra mm -hmm. Shield was worked great in the laundry pods. Mm -hmm. So there is there is so many different things that you can use essential oils for. Lorelai said she put lemon and grapefruit in her steam mop, and it smells really good and extra antibacterial power. Exactly. I mean, not only are you doing the steam, but then you're adding the antibacterial properties of those two those two oils is really good. And so here's here's our pitch that we're going to start to do weekly. If you are enjoying these oils and you and you're using these samples and you're you're seeing the results and you want to get more involved with the oils, send us an email. We'll Skype call you or um, Google Hangouts with you. And just give us 15 minutes and we'll talk to you about you becoming a wellness advocate where you can purchase these oils wholesale for yourself, but you can also make a little bit of an income where you can, if you're in a job you don't like, guess what? You could start making enough money to... I have to be in that job. Well, I mean, I guess it just kind of depends on what your interest level is on yeah. that. You've got some people that all they want to do is just, you know, yeah, use their oil and be done. But then there are some people out there that are go-getters that, you know, that's something that they could do. They so if do. you're yep. one of those people, then definitely give us a holler. If not, just keep coming back to our class to learn more about the different oils yeah. that we've got available. And prepare from a preparedness mindset. And we my, did this today. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay, essential oils are the way to go. They're definitely don't a waste your money on the fish antibiotics. Don't waste your money on that stuff because that stuff, because it's synthetically made, has a shelf life. Mm -hmm. You put these puppies because that you see they're in that brown bottle, amber glass. Amber glass. Okay, you put these puppies in an ammo can, shove them up underneath your bed, or put them on on mm -hmm. a bottom shelf. Mm -hmm. Put them in a closet. Inside the ammo can, they last indefinitely for wait for it ever forever. Your fish oil antibiotics don't do that, mm -hmm. and you can have. We all we've all homesteading wise, prepping wise, we've all bought the the herb encyclopedias. We've all bought the natural remedy books and and all of the wonderful information okay we've mm -hmm. all bought them right and we've all said okay i got to get these seeds for medical mm -hmm. reasons mm -hmm. i got to get these for culinary i got these these da 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 look we've been homesteading a long long time sometimes crops fail 
sometimes seeds don't germinate. Sometimes you got a beautiful looking garden and God says, ah, I think I'm just going to throw this at you. Wow. Mm -hmm. And your garden gets... <laughs> no antibiotics will help with nuclear... Fallout. And turns your garden upside down and you don't get a good harvest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you still have these. You can use them as a safety net. Mm -hmm. And again... Well, and the other thing too is the amount that it takes, guys. Yeah. You're talking like drops and there's 250 drops in a bottle. Yeah. So, I mean, you're talking about... One versus the other, you know. Um, but, you know, you just have to kind of, you can get a lot for, you know, like when people prep, you know, eventually they turn into homesteading because there's, it's a finite supply. But the thing with these is that you you would be well, you'd be well stocked for a very, yeah. you With know, one ammo can, you could probably fit a couple hundred bottles in one ammo can. Hmm? Yeah. I don't know that I would, though, with all the glass. I don't know. You just pack it in there. I, I think I would do, like, bubble wrap, put some in, bubble wrap, put some in. I think you might get 100 bottles out of a ammo can. You, you don't know. We're talking about different ammo cans, but, um. I ain't talking about for mortar rounds. But, man, I don't know. That would be very cool. I don't think you could get more than 100 bottles. Okay. Anymore. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. There's anyway. a video. Mm -hmm. How many essential oils can we fit in an ammo can on it? Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Is like, you know, with these, a couple of drops a day, <clears throat> you know, here or there. Right. And here and here's the wonderful thing. Take oregano, for example. You don't use it often. You don't use it often. Mm -mm. You can use it. To, if you get a cold, you can put it with a carrier oil, put it on the bottom of your feet, mm -hmm. knocks it out. You're cooking some some spaghetti or some lasagna. Oh my gosh! You take a take a toothpick, <laughs> boop, dip it in there. Yeah. Okay. Your your dog has got worms. Boop, give him some oregano. Now let me bam, let me, knocks let me it out. Hit on that real quick. Any of the oils that could be considered culinary oils that are also really good for different symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, what we've done is my bottles that are getting smaller, or, or my amount that's getting smaller, those get rotated into the culinary mm -hmm. box. And they're in the kitchen. And then the full bottles go into all the medicinal stuff. So then that way, as that bottle gets lower, we'll put it in with the culinary and start with a new fresh bottle. So, you know, yeah. So Anita said, yeah, I learned that the hard way with the rosemary. Oh, yeah, I bet. Cilantro is a bad one, too. Welcome to my life. Oh, we did cilantro rice and lime or something, and I did the lime and the cilantro oil. And all you could taste was cilantro. Uh, but it was still, it was still good. It was still good, but it was one drop, and I'm talking about a bowl like this big, and it still was like all you tasted was cilantro yeah. and lime, and I was like, "Oops, sorry, guys." So, so what I'm saying, guys, is is that it can go. One of these bottles goes a long, long mm -hmm. way, and with everything that's going on in the world right now. Yeah. Mhm. Mm what can it hurt? Mm -mm. You know, you were going to spend the money on the fish antibiotics that were going to be, what, gone in six months to a year. Or you can spend it on these and get more uses. And if you store them correctly and properly, last your life. Yeah, they will last a while. You, we, when we started asking that question to doTERRA and everybody... Everybody, the doctors, the research people, the scientists, all of them. They said you were more than likely going to use it all before it would go bad, it would go bad yeah, or lose, lose its uh, potency. potency. Mm -hmm. Now, if you leave it open out on the windowsill where the sun's beating down to it, well then, yeah, it's going to... Over time, yeah. it'll deteriorate. But as long as you keep it out of the sunlight and you don't, like, boil it, don't leave it in your car yeah. and let it boil over the summer... 
So, Jason, did you ever do the box for the essential oils under the cabinet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm hoping to get to a lot of my carpentry projects this winter, which will be that one and a bat box, some more uh, bird boxes mm -hmm. and, and uh, stuff like that for gardens and, and whatnot. I'm hoping to be able to get to them. Some chicken and, tractors. And chicken tractors. And mm -hmm. once, just be paying attention to the website when we get this, we get the guy on board who's going to build us the website. That's going to take that off our plate, which will open up to be able to move into other things. And then those things will pop up on the website. Mm -hmm. yep. But yeah. All right. Well, it's almost But done. you know, we're also looking at some things to be able to do it a little bit differently and I'm, I might have found a cheat to that building just a big honking box and mounting it under there I might have found a kitchen hack mm. that will suit better it might even come out cheaper so uh, any idea any what idea what oil would be the absolute best, best for migraines? migraines. Hmm. It There's kind so of, many. Yeah. Um, it, and I'll defer this one because I know Kitty has used... I use past tense for mine. It's a blend. It's got some different things in it. It's got peppermint. Um, right, where I just use the peppermint. And it works for me. And see, here's one of the things about the oils, y'all. It works with body chemistry. Mm -hmm. So... Pepper, Robin, peppermint, Rob, frankincense, lemon. Yeah, the past tense is a good one. All right. Jatan uses past tense. Robin uses... Use I the, use past tense. She but, uses past tense. But I also use Clary Calm because Clary Calm works good right. for um, migraines as well. And I just use peppermint. Mm -hmm. You can also use um, uh, frankincense, peppermint, and what's the other one? Lavender. Lavender, peppermint, and frankincense. Um, and that seems seems yeah. to help as well. But you got to be careful with the peppermint. You don't want it too close yeah, to your yeah. eyes because it'll make your eyes water. Um, and if that happens, if it gets too close, you just take some regular vegetable oil and you just put it down up underneath your eyes or up above your eyebrows and it'll pull the oil yeah. away from your eyes. And Home Place Journal just said compared to medical costs, oh, essential yeah. oils are cheap. Well, That's just right. one visit to the to the urgent care would have been $80, you know? And see, and that's a good point. Teresa said, just find one that soothes you, takes mm -hmm. you to your happy place, because that's, you know, part of it. So, um, past tense blend, Clary Calm. Yeah, that's the ones I use. What clay can you use for a diffuser? Are you talking about like a diffuser necklace? Because you can literally go buy the stuff that you let your kids do with crafts. Crayola has a little tub of clay that you can use you don't have to cook it and but it just I wouldn't dries suggest out that. well it worked for us yeah but it also left a nice big stain on the middle of our chest if we started sweating well yeah if you sweat then obviously yeah um but uh now you, you guys have seen that we've shown you guys how to make a homemade diffuser with those 25 cent terracotta, terracotta pots, pots yeah you can at, make one of from those. walmart those it works really works well the only great. thing is that the water evaporates pretty quickly so you got to yeah. keep an eye on it to make sure yeah. that you're um, not going to crack crack the the top yeah um, but other than that it works really yeah. well now those clay ones that robin was talking about doing now don't get me wrong they work great but if you're like here where we live in the summertime we were sweating like stuck hogs and we were all getting stains breakaway use the big bear farms oils at hotmail.com yeah. so all right well okay any more questions before we call it a night she just watched it like cool 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 yeah it's fairly easy to make it doesn't it's not it's very cheap mm -hmm. um
We'll give it a, it's got a very long delay tonight, so we're going to give it a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was in the 80s today here. Pretty rough. No problem. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. All right. All right, guys. It looks like we're all good to go. So. Uh, and uh, real quick, if you have any questions about anything that you didn't really feel comfortable putting out there for everybody else, if you just want to you know email it to us we'll be more than happy to try and help you with anything yes kitty you can um we'll call you kitty yeah all right well you guys have a good one right, and well, say your say my thing say your diddy say my diddy okay what is my diddy dum hmm? dum diddy <laughs> okay guys well remember be kind to one another that's all we ask be kind to one another because you don't know what that other person may be going through or what kind of lemon that they're dealing with in their life at that particular point in time. Always, always do your best to give the person the benefit of the doubt. And, and do your part to help save our planet. Recycle, reuse. Keep things out of the landfill. Mm -hmm. Land, they're not making, God's not making any more land, y'all. Right. I don't care how much sand China dumps in the sea to make an island for an airport. They're just not, it's just not happening. Mm -hmm. You know, and we've got to, as the human population expands, we're taking away stuff from wildlife. Yep. And that's not good. Mm -mm. So... Get in your community. Revive your downtowns. Reuse a pallet. Reuse a bottle. Take the bottle to the recycling. Do something. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming by. We love you. We'll see you Thursday on Trap Talk. Mm -hmm. Where we are going to be talking about the... Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the big bear. Beaver knife. You should make a commercial. Ha 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 by Wallace. Knife works in Homestead. <laughs> now we're gonna be talking, hopefully, with Ricky Wallace on Thursday. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Talk to you in a minute, Kitty. We love you guys. Have a good week. Have a good week. Bye. Good night. <laughs>